You don't know how you met me You don't know why You can't turn around and say goodbye All you know is when I'm with you I make you free And swim through your veins like a fish in the sea I'm singing, follow me Everything is alright I'll be the one to tuck you In this episode, we're on a road trip through Raglan, taking in some awesome scenery and beautiful coastline and avoiding crazy truck drivers on windy country roads. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you would like to see more of us. I'm singing, follow me, everything is alright. I'll be the one to tuck you in at night And if you want to leave I can guarantee you won't find nobody else like me So yeah, look I'm at where we are This is Brooklyn's Forest Park We're heading to Raglan today, weren't we? We was and then Tommy found this gem on um, Wikicamps. It's not on the NZMCA app or any others. And um, it's a farmer, and he's opened up his grounds um, for campers. There's accommodation there we pay for, but this campground is donation-based, Koha. And um, he came over, he's so friendly. The facilities are fantastic, there's a massive room, there's horses, there's rabbits, there's goats. This could be the best um, low-cost camp we've ever been to. And the horses are awesome. The horses are awesome. But can it? They're so nice. It's way up there. So we might see if we can sort it out for him so he can get on the ends of the MCA up as well. So he gets more people, more donations. So he um, can keep it up. And there's, there's basically one rule he said, just take your rubbish with you, which is great. It's loose over there. It's fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, and there's a creek and there's, there's a creek. walks you can do and that. Yeah. Nice. Um, it's just really hot, so it'd be really nice if we had an awning, wouldn't it? Yeah. But you don't look ashamed and baby, I'm not scared. I'm singing, follow me, everything is alright. I'll be the one to tuck you in at night. Want to leave, I can guarantee you won't find nobody else like me. So what's Tom doing? Hey. <clears throat> what have you done? Awesome, isn't it? It looks amazing. So this is um, basically our old awning that um, got damaged and was a write-off at Cook's Beach and because um, we're getting a brand new awning well this was basically brand new anyway but um, yeah I just tilted this from the old Fayama awning it just slid out didn't it that just slid out got some grommets yeah and um, we didn't want to pay for a huge um, one of those expensive ones that you get and this was just like perfect material it's really durable and it folds up really thin, it's like super thin. Um, so yeah, we'll just use this when we need to. So how will it work when the new awning comes then? It will just go directly underneath it. Oh yeah, and then hook in. We can just um, put some hooks down. I've just put these grommets on so that will be nice and tight. Yeah. Wouldn't it be good if the, the new awning we get is the same material as well? Yeah. Yeah, well done. Nice. Really good. Saved us 100 bucks, didn't it? Well, lost an awning, but never mind. But um, you can also be seeing the recording. Look at this place. You're better off if you don't ask why. I'm not the reason that you go astray.
in the sea I'm singing follow me everything is all right I'll be the one to tuck you in at night and if you want to leave I can guarantee you won't find nobody else like me I'm singing follow me everything is all right I'll be the one to tuck you situated on the west coast of New Zealand's North Island just a 45 minute drive west of Hamilton or a 2 hour drive south of Auckland Raglan is both a surfing mecca and a dramatically scenic area of black sand coastline What's it like After looking around the town, we headed up the coast to the world-famous Manu Bay. Many people believe this beach to have the longest, most accessible and consistent left-hand break in the world. It's a great place to sit back in the van and watch the waves come in. Next, we headed to Naranui Beach, also known as Ocean Beach. It's the main sandy swimming beach in Raglan and is known for its magnificent black sand, although it didn't seem very black to us. We spent a few hours here enjoying the sun and swimming, and you can even learn to surf here, but we passed on this for now. After our beach day, we drove a minute up the road to an awesome lookout for dinner with a view. What have you got there? So we got this the other day, this big pumpkin um, from somewhere. And yeah, that'll be nice. <laughs> also... Oh dear Lord. Dun, dun, dun. Oh my God. Of size of that. Where are you going to put that then? Oh, I've got to chop it up into lots of little pieces. It's <laughs> huge. Yeah. And that's a courgette, eh? Hey? Yeah, my, okay, no. <laughs> so we're at Michael Hope Lookout. Raglan. And down here is Naranui Beach where we've just been for a swim. Sweet! And there's Matilda. Beautiful, beautiful weather. Raglan's pretty cool. There weren't really any designated freedom camps around Raglan, apart from one area in town, down James Street, where all the campers seemed to park and where we decided to stay for the night.
In the next episode of Salty Skin Road Trip Aotearoa New Zealand, we take on possibly the scariest road we have so far in Matilda to get to an awesome motor camp. Thanks for watching and we'll see you then.